as we draw to the conclusion of the House of Classic Cuts Beer Challenge. As you guys saw, you see the before picture, after picture. This product does work. It does great. Um, but my the way my beer grows, it just it didn't grow the way I wanted it to. But it did grow. You know what I'm saying? I just got a, a ton more sideburn. You know, just all up here. Like still thin right here. Right here. You know, right here it's all good. It's all good. It does not grow in as much as I wanted to, but it is what it is. It's, it's genetics. At that point, it's genetics. But if you do have the archetype, you know, the beer archetype, you know, the Rick Ross, I say go get it, man. I don't think you can go wrong. Uh, I don't remember if they had a subscription plan. I'm I'm, I'm just like, yo, I'm glad I came to the, in this journey. And it's been difficult because right here, right, right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't like it. Oh, people who got the, the full on, uh, super thick mustache that go over your lip. I can't, bro. Be I don't, mm, mm. I don't, I can't do this thing. Can't do it. So, as we come to a close, we still got this part at the back. This actually made it. This made it. I got another one. I got a new one, but it's made it to the end of the journey. Challenge was accepted. Challenge completed. The product works. So now, you know what we got to do. We're going to clean up the beer. We're not going to necessarily bring them down too much in here. But we're going to bring the sideburns down a little bit. Because. Yeah. But. That's the video. Make sure you leave a like. Share, comment, subscribe. For those who want to see me. You know what I'm saying. Do my thing with the bevel trimmer. And the cut buddy trimmer. We're going to do something real cool. Peace. And back in power.
All right, guys, as you can see, I have messed this up a little too much. And typically when I mess up my side bags, I can't fix it. Um, I, but, you know, it is what it is. We got to make down low. Or manageable, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I I hadn't really touched my, you know, with my skills at that time. I'm not saying I lost them, but it's such a night and day difference using the bevel trimmer, which has a lot of heft to it, and the cut buddy trimmer, which is much lighter, much more agile, less surface area. So I can see a lot more, you know, these weird angles when you're trying to get, do this and here you go. <laughs> but if you got this, you and then you try to and then do this and get up here. It, it's so much more difficult, even with the you know the self cut uh, system that I have. So hey, thank you for getting to this part of the video. If you did, hey, be sure to share this with. Uh, be sure to share this with somebody you love, you know what I'm saying? Get, be sure to share it with somebody who needs to take care of their beard, uh, who's trying to grow their beard. Just some tips and tricks, you know what I'm saying? You see, I shaped it up very nicely. I did use the um, cut buddy trimmer to set the line in on both sides since I did it on this side. I, it was easy to do it on this side with the same tool. Then I went in with my bevel trimmers and literally just freehand shaped it, just freehand, just and I'm pretty sure I got a video um, of me freehand shaping my beard. Uh, I think it's the core team cut video. I'll make sure I put a card up for that. But hey, thank you guys for the support. Uh, and um, about my beard having like this little patchy spot and not necessarily going that thick in these areas and me just not connecting. I think I got a solution for that. Now, the products are black on. But I will be using it in conjunction with black owned products to make it do what it do. Make sure you subscribe and see if you pay attention to my videos. Peace, black and power.